Hello everyone, my name is Puneet. I'm part of Informatica Big Data Management team. Today I'll be talking about the Confident Kafka, which is a new feature in 10.4.0. The agendas of today's presentation will get to know what is a Confident Kafka and the connection details and the configurations and how to create a Confident Kafka connections using a FACMT command and the demo. So the Confident Kafka connection is a messaging connection. Uh, it uses the Confident Kafka connection to access the Kafka brokers or the Kafka or the Confident Kafka broker as a source uh, or as a target. You can also create and manage the Confident Kafka connection in a developer tool or through the InfoCMD command. So this is a screenshot which have uh, taken it uh, from the info uh, admin console uh, where uh, you have a connection details uh, where in the messaging uh, we have listed a new uh, connection called Confident Kafka. By selecting that you can actually assign uh, the details. So this is the uh, connection which I have already created. Uh, this is a screenshot, uh, but I will be showing it as uh, in the demo as well. So uh, like uh, once you give your broker list uh, on the Confident Kafka connection name, uh, you can do the disconnection and you can check it. Uh, this is the info CMD command uh, to create a Confident Kafka connection from the Informatica uh, server uh, using the info CMD command. The commands are like create connection and uh, followed by you have to give the domain name and the domain user and password and the connection name and the connection ID will be same as the connection name or you can change it to the different uh, ID and then you have to give uh, the CT as a Confident Kafka and then uh, the KFK BRK list that is the confident Kafka broker list. If you have multiple brokers, you can just give the host uh, port number uh, followed by comma, and then uh, you have to specify the Kafka broker versions. Uh, so whether it is a 5.2 or 5.3, whatever version you have to specify. And if you are uh, using a schema registry, then you have to specify the schema registry URL. I will be covering this complete schema registry concepts in the next uh, uh, video KB. So now let's see the demo uh, how to create a connection and how to assign the connection, how to, how to uh, create a PDO or object out of it and uh, run a mapping uh, which runs from the Confident Kafka object to the Hive, uh, runs on Spark. So this is my Informatica 10.4 uh, admin console. If you click on connections here, then click on, uh, click on the connections, new, new connections. And if you scroll down, uh, if you go to the messaging, uh, you have a new connection called Confident Kafka. If you click on OK, then it will ask you to enter the Confident Kafka name. You can just specify the name. And here you have to specify the broker list, uh, list of brokers. So if you have one broker, you can just specify the, the broker name followed by the port number. So I have specified my broker uh, list name. Then you can just set the time, uh, retry a timeout. Uh, and if you uh, if you have using uh, the 5.2 and above, you can select it. Or if you are using the older versions, or you can just select what is the the confident uh, work, uh, Kafka version which you are using it. Followed by if you are uh, using a schema registry, you have to specify it here. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll show that uh, in the, my next uh, coming uh, video KB. And if you are Kafka is SSL enabled, uh, you have to specify all these details. And this is being tracked in 10401. Now let's try to do the connection, test connection. So now my test connection got successful. Now let's go to the developer tool and uh, we'll try to import the object and uh, we'll run a map here. So this is uh, very similar to the other uh, uh, connections. How we have it, you have to click on the folder. Then you have to click on the data object. Here specify the confident. So then you will be having a confident Kafka object. Uh, then you just have to browse for the connection. So since I have already created a connection, so I'm just specifying the connection name and I'm just adding, selecting my topic, which I wanted to use it here. So now I have added uh, my connection. Uh, through that, I have just actually imported the, uh, the data object. I'm just specifying it as just finishing it. So now uh, there is a source uh, got added. So this is a source. 
so this is my confident kafka uh, topic where I have it i'm just uh, pushing few data here So I have created a simple mapping uh, which has a topic and uh, which is writing to the hive uh, table uh, was selected as a runtime engine as a spark. And I've set the interval uh, maximum interval and runtime interval time for uh, the two minutes. So now uh, let's run a mapping. So the mapping is uh, still running now we'll go and see the resource manager so this is a resource manager VA where we can see that there is application got created and if you click on the applications and if you go to the application master uh, we'll be able to see uh, there is a job got created and if you click on sql and if you click on status where you see that there's a five rows as read and written to as a target as a five records so now let's go to hive beeline and we'll check the table whether uh, we have received the data uh, yes uh, we have received uh, the three data because we since i have selected as a latest in source so i have received uh, uh, all the data so this is how you can actually uh, use the confident uh, kafka as a source and uh, you can actually write it to other confident kafka topic as a target or also you can write it to s3 uh, or uh, the hdfs or on the hive so from the mapping, uh, we can able to see the mapping has run successfully. So this is about the demo and you can actually use the reference document uh, how to configure and use the confident Kafka from the demo for uh, medium. And we would like to hear from you. Please write us to support videos at informatica.com and uh, follow us on the twitter.com slash for support. Thank you.